It was a great pleasure today to speak to the Congress about a topic that's very important and has been a great uh, joy to find to help patients with IBS, and that is FODMAPS. FODMAPS just means fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polyols. So that's where FODMAPS comes from. And these are small, uh, poorly absorbed carbohydrates, and they're rapidly fermented in the GI tract. And for people with IBS who have challenges with the function of the, the GI tract in that they have increased visceral hypersensitivity, so um, they feel the effects of the digestion and absorption of these carbohydrates more than someone without IBS. So um, it's simply working with these individuals to limit the high FODMAP containing foods in their diets. For example, in lactose, it would be milk. In fructose, it's uh, a larger servings of fruits, uh, such as anything over a half a cup, and then some very particular fruits like apples. In oligosaccharides, that's wheat, garlic, onions, and then in polyols, those are sugar alcohols, and that can be certain fruits, like apples have excess fructose and polyols, or it can also be certain artificial sweeteners. So when they limit these or eliminate them as much as possible in their diet, the symptoms are much improved. The goal, though, of this diet is not to have them limit them forever, but to add these back slowly but surely so that they have as much of a variety of foods in their diet as they can tolerate. Now, one thing that's been interesting as you work with nutrition support patients, parenteral and enteral patients, they may also have these challenges because they have irritable bowel syndrome or because the formulas, particularly enteral formulas, may have excess of the fructooligosaccharides, for example, or inulin that cause diarrhea in these patients. So it may not be what we normally thought was a reason for diarrhea, but it may be fructose content or fructane content, uh, or it could even be polyol. So checking enteral formulas is very important. But also, one thing I don't want to miss saying is it's important that these individuals work very closely with the dietitian, because after you've taken out a lot of um, fiber-containing foods, like beans are out as well, during the elimination phase, they need to get adequate fiber. So dietitians are very important to help with providing soluble fiber and also providing alter alternative foods so you have a healthy diet. And that's just one part of uh, a great way to help people with IBS and maybe even short bowel syndrome, IBD, um, others, those with non-celiac gluten sensitivity to eat well and feel better.